Hello everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to your second tutorial on JavaScript. In this tutorial, we'll see how to do some nice stuff. We can say, um, we want to declare a variable and see concatenations. We have a variable. We can call it um, car1. That is our first car. We can say our first car is Volvo. Or Vol Volvo. Then our second car we can declare the variable and that second car is um, Mazda. If you are using code lobster and you're wondering how I duplicated this line quickly, um, if you're wondering how I'm able to do this, it's by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. And if you're using sublime text, you press Ctrl C, you click on the line, press Ctrl C, then press Ctrl V. Oops. You click on the line, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and then you have um, your duplicate line. But I'm using Code Lobster. All right, so we have two cars here. What if we wanted to print these two cars? We can say um, document dot write, and then we have to print car one. We add, we concatenate it with car two. So we are printing car 1 and 2, all right? And um, in JavaScript, semicolon at the end of your your statements, single line statements is not compulsory. So you can always um, avoid semicolon at the end of your single line statements. So if we run this code, we are expecting to see Volvo Mazda join together without any space in between. So if we refresh, we'll see Volvo Mazda, no space in between. So what? What if you wanted to add a space in between? And we have to add a space this way. In JavaScript, you concatenate using plus. In PHP, you concatenate using dots. All right. So but this usually confuses many web developers because most of the times you're working with PHP, you're working with JavaScript at the same time. So always make sure you remember that in JavaScript, it's plus sign. All right. We've added a space. We've said car one add a space to it then car2 so we have a refresh so we have Volvo Mazda so um, what if we wanted to do something like this what do you think will happen if somebody printed 5 plus 2 I'm going to delete these two guys here so what do you think will print out of course 7 so we refresh and we have 7 but what if somebody wanted to print 5 plus 2 plus um well let me start from here um let's say six in this quotes plus five imagine that we have this what do you think would happen try to guess well if you refresh you have six five two it turns out that in javascript if you concatenate a number to a string what you end up is is a string this now changes to concatenation instead of the plus sign it should be because it has a string all right so what if we came here and put this at the end so of course we have this we'll drag this oh my god we um, put this plus sign here so guess what do you think will happen surprise surprise what do you think will happen you save then you come to this place well, let me hint you. Um, JavaScript will start adding this 5 plus 2, 7. Then when it gets the answer that this is a string, it will concatenate. This will no longer be a plus. This will now be concatenation. So we'll come back here, we'll refresh. What we have is 7, 6. That is 76. So it has already added this as 7. And when it wanted to add this, it found out that this is a string. So it concatenated. So this is your introduction to concatenation in JavaScript. And uh, we introduced you to variables too, so which means in the next tutorial, we'll continue with variables in JavaScript. So thank you very much, and um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. See you.